This is the shoe on the tefillah, tefillah of the shoe the right before Aksukot. Uh, every tefillah of Moed, we start the Atabe Hatan and Kola Amish. By the way, when the Halistoya, they went to constitution camp, that the Mahlop had argument, always that argument. So interesting. There's an argument by Halto all the time. Even going to furnace, fire, they had an argument, what should they think? Mostly say that we should see Anima Amin, because that shows the emun of faith to Arab Shbaruku, that they have a faith that they have the Shia, Moshiach would come and would get saved. But some said much deeper. This is not Marco for Anima Amin. You chose us. Therefore, the Halistoy sang that and we went to furnace. Therefore, now what is this filler that we say? What's the what's the point? And when first I I say it in short and then simple meaning, and then we go through it. You have chosen us, we call her Amin from all of the nations. Hatabanu, you loved us, Rasita Banu, and found favor in us, Ramantanu, you elevated us from all of the people, the Shonot, Bashon, Yekidashtanu, and you sanctified us with Sotecha with your mitzvot. And you threw us near, brought us close. Malkenu, our king, that was a at your service. And your name, the great name, and the holy name, you called upon us. So every Yom Tov, we start the Tefillah of Shemonese with this title of Atab Hattar. Now, when we say first Atab, you, we refer to Akadosh Baruch as you. You are the one who did it. Therefore, you are expressing directly to Akadosh Baruch Hu. You didn't do it by a malach, by angel, by anything. I told you, the Khartoum, you chose us. That split second that Akadosh Baruch Hu chose us, that's why we are here. You have to feel that. You have to understand. You see all of the going around you, they don't have this privilege to have Yom Tov. They don't have privilege of Pesach, they don't have privilege of Torah. They are not a um, chosen nation because that split of second that Rosh Baruch chose us at Tabe Khartan. Bechila means you have, let's say, different food. Which one are you going to eat? You're going to choose one. You have different dress to buy. Which one you buy? Different shoes to buy. Therefore, you have to be marked. You have to understand. You were chosen. No, there were other choices also, but you were chosen. That's a privilege that you got to be chosen. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been here. Therefore, we at the Yom Tov, the highlight of the Yom Tov is to realize, to understand that split second that the Shabbat who chosen us, that we got that privilege to be here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be Amnika from all of the nations. No, you choose somebody, but you don't love. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> sometimes it happens. I have to tell that you love us. The choosing, the Bechira, the choosing was with love. You showed us love. You give us Torah, give us mitzvot, right? With that, no, a lot of times you choose, choose somebody and you love him, but his actions are not satisfactory for you. He doesn't find favor in your eyes. He said, we are sit upon one level further, then much deeper. We are sit upon you, and we found favor in your eyes, and you were, our actions, our behavior were satisfactory in front of you. Now, a lot of times, okay, let's say you have a child, you love him and everything, and it's satisfactory for you, but it's not elevated child. It's very low-paced child. Because of your love makes it nothing more than that. In itself, it's nothing. No elevation, there is, there is no basis, baseless. We're a mampan, no. You uplifted us from all of the nations. It became high prestige, covered, and you know, the essence of the reality of what we are, the Holy story. A lot of times we are very elevated, very good, but we are not designated. When there are designation of the royalty, of the malchut, you know, we are good, we are elevated, everything. But we are not royal, no royal designation of the Malchut. Sanctify us with your mitzvot, your command. You made us designated to be the one to carry your mitzvot. 
Don't forget. Mitzvah means command. Zohar Kadosh says, Mitzvah doesn't mean command. Mitzvah means from Savta. Savta means togetherness. Every mitzvah, Hakadosh Baruch is hugging us. It's a hug from Hashem, like Baltanya says. Therefore, you sanctify us, you designate us, that we should be that one. Now, you designate somebody because you need him very badly. It's your system. But you don't bring him very close. You make some distance between you and him, you know. At Kanvelo Yotel, you come this much, not more than that. I need you for my business, for my abode, everything. But you know, you we have a limit. You brought us close to your service. It wasn't just a command. Command means to see what you do. Avoda is left. Avoda techa. Avoda is tefila. It's left. It's kurva. Hard to part with Avodah Shpada. It's becoming beloved in Hashem. Not just a matter of business. This is what command you to do. That's close. It's the closest of relationship. Hard to heart. No, you do hard to heart everything. But when it comes to your name, you keep it for yourself. You don't want to share your name with somebody else. It's a Pahlavi. What's the designated name for the, for the Malchut? You don't want to share that name with anybody else. Name is your essence. You want to have your unique essence. You don't want to share it with somebody. But if your name, you call that upon us. Good. Sometimes the person shares his name, but he makes sure to have a greater name for himself. That greater name would not be shared. That's for myself. Good. I love you. I like you. You've got to come close to my essence to become one with me. But still, I keep some prestige for myself. I keep some honor for myself. I don't share that. Therefore, that great name, no, we say we should do that even that you share it with us. No good. A lot of times you do that. Your name, your great name. But you have a designated name for yourself to make yourself unique. You say, at Khan Veloyote, I have something unique for myself. I would not share that with anybody. Say no. Even that designated name, you share with us. You call it upon us. You made us all one. That's why Chazal tells us that that Lati Lavo, we're gonna make a machol. We're gonna make a we make a machol, right? We're gonna do it. Sukkah is called Chag Sukkot. All of the festivals are called Chag. Now, especially Chazal, when they say Chag, Chag means Sukkot. Now, why Sukkah is 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 called Stam Chag? Because Chag comes from Machol. Machol is Machol. It's we could we could dance. When we when we dance, we make a circle. What's the circle? All we are approximately from the center, the same distance. All of us, we are one, oneness. Now the Gemara says, Lati Lavo, we're going to have a machol with HaKadosh Baruch circle dancing with Hashem, and everybody Sadiqim, they point out, Ze Hashem, this is HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that we know, that we had hope to see him, to be with him. Now I want to ask you, Imagine there's a circle that the soldiers, the generals, with the king, they are dancing together. The king is designated. Anybody has to point out who the king is, or the king by mere fact of the king by nature, very naturally is designated, they have to point out. Obviously, the king, you don't have to point out who the king is. Everybody could see from, from the majesty. Hazor tell us that we love We have to point out who that Kodesh Baruch Hu is in that machol, in that circle. Hashem with the Har Israel. They have to say, Zeh, this is our Kodesh Baruch Hu. Why? Why do you have to do that? Because that oneness. You call your name upon us. The essence become oneness with our Kodesh Baruch Hu. That then we have to point out, this is Hashem. This is the introduction to our Tefillah. Of, of, of Yom Tov. This is the Simchat Yom Tov to delve in and to pray, to understand every word and every stage that we go through to make us, to promote us, to delve and pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and that Kurva to Hashem to be felt in the delve that we have.